Welcome to Inniskillen in the beautiful county of Fermanagh, Ireland's only island town. I'm here in Inniskillen, the beautiful county town of Fermanagh. To tell us more of the stories from Inniskillen is Ian McCutcheon. Ian, how are you? You're very welcome, Brian. Ian, we're here at the base of Coles Monument. Tell us a little bit about the history of Coles Monument. The Cole family were the plantation family who were sent to this part of uh, Ireland in the northwest during the famous plantation after the flight of the Earls. The monument we see here today is for Galbraith Lowry Cole, who was a much um, decorated general with Wellington throughout many battles, as you can see marked on the monument behind us here. Right from the early 1600s, there was an earthen fort here to protect the town, uh, because just below the hill is the entrance into the island town of Inniskillen via the East Bridge. So there's lots to see and do in Inniskillen, Brian. We have the butter market for the arts and crafts. We have the history at the Inniskillen Castle. And this is the largest town on the urn system. And it's beautifully located, bang smack in between Upper and Lower Loch Urn. Right in the centre. So Ian, we're here right in the centre of Inniskillen in the diamond. Tell us what there is to see. We are indeed, Brian. This is the heart of the town, the diamond, as you say. This would have been the market square in the early days of the town. And behind us you would have been the market house, which is now the site of our fine town hall, complete with the two Inniskilleners on the uh, clock tower. Can I ask you a question? The you two can. Inniskilleners on the clock tower, mm -hmm. the Inniskilling Dragoon and yes. the Inniskilling Fusilier, how do you tell the difference between ah, the two? Good question. Well, the chap on the front the, is the Inniskillen Dragoon Guard. He's from the Cavalry Regiment and he has his sword, which he would have wielded from his horse. The chap on the side here uh, is an Inniskillen Fusilier standing with his musket. It's on every postcard. Everybody that comes to Inniskillen takes a photograph of it. And as you drive in from the west of the town, it's absolutely beautiful. It just appears in front of you. I'm here in the courtyard of Inniskillen Castle. And to tell us more, here's Sarah. Sarah, how are you? Very well, thank you. Sarah, tell us a bit about the history of this marvellous castle. Well, you've over 600 years of history here. It's a real microcosm of Irish history. You've got an old uh, medieval plantation castle into a military barracks in later years. So you've got layers upon layers of history. When you come to the castle, what sort of things can you see? There's a huge amount to see. There's two museums here, Fermanagh County Museum and the Inniskillens Museum, which tells you about the history of the two regiments here. And then there's the castle, the water gate, the buildings and the beautiful surrounding landscape. And you're only a couple of minutes away from the centre of the town. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Now, I don't need a haircut, but this isn't quite your average barber shop. Come inside and we'll take a look. Nigel, a barber shop and a railway museum, how did you come up with the idea? Well, first of all, the barber shop did come first, but we all have always had a, 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 a knowledge of local history in the area, and especially now with, with the, the railway's closure in 57, we got a great interest with railway enthusiasts and members of the public coming in, and we decided we put up some memorabilia, and it all started to escalate from there. Some, some things are on loan from museums, some things we've bought ourselves, and some have been gifted to, our, to the museum ourselves. Well, can I tell you, it's lovely that the railway is remembered because there are an awful lot of people in Fermanagh and indeed all over the country that lament the loss of the railway still. Nigel, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. 